Are you looking for the best softball sunglasses for the outfield? We got you covered right here. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Steph from SportRx and I, as a former outfielder, have you covered for the best softball sunglasses for outfielders. So one struggle that I had when I was playing softball was really being able to find a pair of sunglasses that actually fit my game and that worked for me. I was spending more time worrying about my frames falling off my face or getting in my way than I was about tracking balls into my gloves. So I typically opted for a visor because I couldn't find the right pair. And here I am to help you figure out what the best one is so that you can find the frame that is best for you when you're out there tracking down uh, fly balls and saving games, saving home runs. So one thing is that you want a sport specific frame and I can't stress this enough, I know it's simple, but at the end of the day, your everyday, put your aviators away, put your wayfarers away, save them for when you're just kind of doing your normal stuff. For the reason that a hardcore sport frame is gonna give you that nice wraparound coverage that you need, especially in the game of softball. So you want a frame that's gonna provide you with some wraparound peripheral vision, uh, especially not just in the outfield, but when you're at the plate especially. So you wanna be able to track pitches in from your periphery without getting obstructed uh, by a frame right here. So that wraparound coverage is key so you can continue to view through the lens and not through the frame. In addition to that, you want a semi rimless frame or a rimless frame. So, uh, which basically means that there's no frame at the bottom or going all the way around the lens. And that will allow you to, similar to being at the plate, allow you to better field balls below without having to worry about your, your frame getting in the way when you're looking down and seeing a ball into your glove. So as you know, you still get ground balls out there in the outfield and that is still a very important factor um, is being able to see when you are fielding a ball. Uh, in addition to that, sport frames will give you that nice rubber grip, which is especially important uh, when you're out there in the sun and it's hot and you're on your third game and it's 90 degrees in a tournament. Um, you want something that's gonna stay on your face and keep sticky, sticking with you as you progress throughout the day. So rubberized nose, uh, nose pads and even rubber no or temple tips will help with those frames just staying in place and sticking on your face so you don't have to think about them when you're trying to field balls. Another thing to consider when it comes to sports sunglasses, specifically for softball, is a straight back temple. So what that's gonna do is just allow you an obstruction when you're um, slipping the glasses on and off your face, especially when you got your batting helmet on and you wanna be able to comfortably uh, take your glasses on and off. It's not getting all tangled in your hair and just uh, becoming a hassle. So straight back temples are a great thing to look for in your sports sunglasses, which most sports sunglasses have. Before I take you through each of these frames, outfielders, I want you to know that when it comes to the big question of should I get polarized lenses in my softball sunglasses? The answer to that is no. You wanna avoid polarized lenses, especially for softball, especially for outfielders. So what polarization does is it helps combat glare, but at the end of the day, what it also does is it can impact your, your uh, depth perception. And as an outfielder, you know that is especially important. You wanna be able to track the trajectory or gauge the trajectory of a fly ball when you're running something down. So uh, say no to polarized lenses and watch our complete guide on the best lens colors for softball uh, to get even more information about the optimal lenses for your frames. All right, frames. First things first, we'll start off with the Tafosi Vero. So um, again, great wraparound coverage, semi-rimless design, straight back temples. You get this nice rubber nose piece. And the cool thing about this frame is that the nose piece is adjustable. So that is key when you need your, um, when you need some versatility in the fit, but also if you have higher cheekbones, which oftentimes a lot of us women, we have higher cheekbones and it just helps the frame sit up off of your face so that it's not obstructing with your cheekbones. Um, just super comfortable and more secure. And in addition to that, this frame has some ventilation here, up here in the lenses, which just allows some more airflow to pass through to help combat that fogging. So um, in a sport like softball, when you're running and then you stop running and you have heat and then you're cold and then you're hot and you're cold, that oftentimes is conducive for fog. Um, however, with this ventilation, you just get a little bit more of uh, airflow going through there to prevent that. The SportRx frame width measurement or the SFW measurement on these frames is a 130. And that translates to about a medium size uh, for both men and women. So about a medium fit. And again, with these nice adjustable nose pads, you get some, some versatility there in um, how it fits on your face. 
Next, we have the tried and true Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. This is Oakley's top selling sport frame period. You really can't go wrong with it. It has Oakley's three point fit system, which essentially means you put that on and it makes contact in all the points of your face where you really need it to be secure. So back here and up here in the nose, I feel the temples uh, kind of just hugging the back of my skull right here, which is perfect for when you're playing a sport where you have to do a lot of movement, moving around and you don't want your frames uh, going all over the place. You just want to think about getting the ball. You don't have to think about keeping the frame on your face. So Oakley's three point fit system comes with the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. It also has a nice tall lens. So that's especially important in the outfield. When you're looking up, you have some kind of, um, you know, you have some range there, some view through. So a nice tall lens in the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL to help with that. The SFW measurement fit wise is a 135. So that's about a, a women's large to a men's medium. And if you're playing, you know, high school ball or, or travel ball and you need a smaller fit, um, the Oakley Half Jacket 2.0 XL is yet another member of the Oakley Flak family. And it's a great option uh, in a smaller size if, if that's what you need. So can't go wrong, again, with the Oakley Flak, anything from the Oakley family, especially the Flak 2.0 XL, tried and true top seller. It's a great option for you. Next up, we have the Nike Show X3. Now this is designed with baseball in mind. So um, given the name, the show. However, there's a lot of parallels in baseball and softball environments. So it's a, still a great frame nonetheless, if you're an outfielder. And you'll typically see this frame because it is a larger fit on, you know, maybe in some co-ed leagues or men's fast pitch leagues. You probably won't see it on the girls high school softball field or travel ball tournament, but you will likely see it um, being that it is a largely fit on most adults. So SFW measurement here is a 136, which fits, uh, you know, it's about a large fit for men and for women. Um, a cool thing I want to note about this frame is the ventilation at the top, which helps for more airflow to get through there to combat fogging. So you don't want to have to worry about fogging when you are out there trying to track, run something down into your glove. Um, in addition to that, there's what Nike calls a floating nose pad design, which essentially provides a little bit of a gap right here. And what that does is it just softens the blow if you happen to take a ball to the face. Now we want to avoid that, of course, but if something happens and you end up taking a ball to the face, that floating nose pad will help absorb some of that impact. Next up, we have the Oakley Radar EV Path. And you've probably seen this on TV on some outfielders at some point. This is the cornerstone frame from the Oakley Radar family, which a lot of outfielders love. And for the reason that you get a lot of top to bottom lens coverage. So especially important in the outfield when you're looking up, trying to track a ball into your glove, you want something where you're going to have a lot of area to view through. So a tall, nice tall lens in the outfield is very important. And the Radar EV path provides that. The SFW measure on this frame is a 140. So it's a women's extra large, men's large. Um, so, you know, you will probably see this in more adult leagues and maybe some women who have a larger fit like myself, um, but great cornerstone piece for outfielders, Radar EV Path. Next, we have last but not least, my personal favorite for the outfield, straight from the Radar family is the Radar EV Zero. Now, why I like this frame most for the outfield is because you get that top to bottom coverage, but in addition to that, you have this nice rimless frame design up top. So not only on the bottom where it helps you, you know, look downward and field ground balls right into your glove, same thing up top where you're not having to worry about any frame um, obstructing your view when you're looking up. One thing to be mindful of, is that you don't have a frame up here to kind of block some of that light coming in from up top. So it's one thing to consider. However, if you're wearing a hat or a visor out there, that might not even, that might be a non-factor. But the cool thing about the EV Zero is it's just that zero uh, obstruction on the top and on the bottom. So you could just get that, just a big lens uh, to view through a lot of area. The SFW measurement on the Radar EV Zero is a 138, which translates into about a women's extra large to large and a men's large. 
Well, that sums it up for the best softball sunglasses for the outfield. I hope you found this video useful. Remember, we have a full on lens guide, so check that out for the best lens colors for your softball sunglasses. And if we left anything unanswered, please feel free to drop it in the comments below. We'll get back to you. We also have expert, knowledgeable, friendly sports opticians who love this stuff. They live and breathe this stuff, and they'd be more than happy to help you over the phone, through email, or through chat. So feel free to hit them up. And remember, anything that you get at sportrx.com, you are covered by our See Better guarantee. If you get a softball frame, you try it out in the outfield, you find that it's not really working out for you, just send it on right back and we'll get you set up with a, a new and better pair. And if, if that doesn't work out for you, we'll refund you 100%. So no free shipping both ways, no, no risk there. Um, and of course, as always, uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video and help us reach more people so we can help them find the best sunglasses to help them enjoy their experience most out there in the field. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, there's tons of content here to check out. And if you wanna follow along and you like this content, please do subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss out on the action. And don't forget to follow us on our Instagram and Facebook shenanigans. Catch you next time.